All right, Ivan, thanks a lot. CBS News Miami is commemorating Women's History Month tonight with a visionary who, among other things, managed a real estate empire. Mary Brickle's name is synonymous with a condo, entertainment, and financial center in Miami. But as CBS News Miami's Hank Tester reports, she is also the reason why there is a Brickle Avenue in Fort Lauderdale. That's her, and yeah. that's one of the few pictures we have. Yes. Mary Brickle, yes, that Mary Brickle, as in Mary Brickle Village and the Brickle Financial and Residential Area of Miami. The Broward Connection is what nobody knows about. Yes, there's a Brickle Avenue in Fort Lauderdale, right downtown. Most of what is now downtown of Fort Lauderdale, purchased by Mary and William Brickle in 1874. Here it is in the 1920s, Brickle Avenue, Fort Lauderdale, today. This one mile and a quarter, Brickle Ave was the main street of our town for the very beginning of Fort Lauderdale. Executive Director Patricia Zeiler of History Fort Lauderdale knows all about Mary Brickle in Fort Lauderdale. So does Miami historian Paul George. So if you look at the original downtown Fort Lauderdale, that is west of, Second, west of Andrews Avenue, that was all Brickell property. By 1894, Flagler's Railroad had arrived in Palm Beach, and Mary Brickell and her husband William, an American entrepreneur, knew that eventually Flagler would have to expand to Miami through Fort Lauderdale. Well, he did that, and his tracks were proposed to go right through Brickell land in Fort Lauderdale. But it turned out land of her choice. The English-born Mary Brickell was a tough negotiator near Fort Lauderdale. So she pushed him quite far west away from what she considered prime property. The land she reserved is now the valuable riverfront property in Fort Lauderdale. So she's responsible for Fort Lauderdale being where Fort Lauderdale is. In many ways she is, the heart and soul of Lauderdale, which is now returned to downtown Fort Lauderdale. I mean, it's booming down there now. She is responsible for that. Mary Brickle and husband William never lived in Fort Lauderdale, but they had the regional vision. And their marriage was so cool because they were a true, like a 21st century marriage because he left her completely running his U.S. operations. It was she that purchased the land up here, not him, and she managed it. So Brickell Avenue, Fort Lauderdale, here it is. And now you know the story of an amazing woman who had a big impact on South Florida. I'm Hank Tester. CBS News, Miami.